It's Friday, March 5th here in Seoul. Hey everyone, it's Debbie from Korea Now, and these are your daily headlines. Recent satellite imagery found smoke coming from a plant in North Korea's Yongbyon nuclear complex after almost a two-year hiatus. That's according to 38 North, a U.S. website that monitors North Korea. It said Pyongyang might be working to extract plutonium to build nuclear weapons, but it could also mean that the plant is simply working to handle radioactive waste. South Korea's defense ministry says Seoul and Washington are closely watching North Korea's nuclear facilities. U.S. President Joe Biden also said this week that the U.S. will empower its diplomats to reduce threats from Pyongyang. He went on to say Washington will strengthen its alliances with countries like South Korea, which it called America's greatest strategic asset. South Korea's per capita GNI, or the gross national income, fell for the second straight year in 2020 amid the coronavirus pandemic. According to Bank of Korea, the average income per capita was $31,755 last year, down 1.1% from a year ago. The GNI had also dropped 4.3% in 2019. This marked the first time that the GNI declined for two years in a row since the global financial crisis in 2008. The central bank said the contraction was caused by the pandemic shock, as well as the local currency getting weaker against the U.S. dollar. Despite the falling GNI, South Korea's economy showed some signs of recovery in the fourth quarter last year, as it grew slightly faster than expected at 1.2% from the previous quarter. K-pop fans around the world are coming together to protect the planet against climate change. On March 3rd, a new website called K-pop for Planet launched as a platform for K-pop lovers to use their fandoms to fight for climate justice. The website noted that K-pop stars have been calling for action against climate change, including Blackpink, who recently became advocates for a UN climate action campaign. The site also mentioned that K-pop fandoms like ARMY, XOLs, and Blinks have collectively shown their care for the environment by donating and planting trees in the name of their idols. And those are your top stories. For full-length articles, you can check out our official website, link down below. As always, make sure to subscribe to Korea now for more daily updates.